read like a writer. And what that means to me is that, you know, read newspapers, magazine articles, the back of cereal boxes, look for phrases that inspire you, you know. Uh, you can read a line, I always am underlining lines in poetry or, or um, uh, any kind of print, novels, whatever, where I think, okay, this is where a poem, I, this is where I could start a poem. I could steal that line and start a poem with that. And I do. Uh, and then you start looking for how they're doing it. What, what kind of repetition is, are they using? You know, so you look at something like Rudyard Kipling's If, which is a poem I don't particularly like, but the idea of like using if as a repetitive technique to move on to the next thing, to give advice, is great. Steal it. You know, instead of using if, use the word don't, use the word not, use the word please, um, all of those things. That, that's kind of theft, but not really. And I think you have to have confidence in yourself that no matter how much you mimic or try to imitate somebody great, uh, you're still going to, your own voice is going to emerge. Don't be afraid to steal other people's things because you always will end up sounding like yourself. You're never going to like sound like Rudyard Kipling or Edwin Morgan or any of these people get involved in writing workshops. Um, there's a lot of them out there. You can find them uh, on the internet. You can find virtual ones. But my recommendation uh, isn't necessarily to go out looking for other people who are doing it. Start one yourself. You probably have friends who are, are writing as well as you are. Get them to sit down with you and talk seriously about writing. Free yourself up. Uh, make the time to sit there and show your work to other people. And take your criticism. You know, um, Remember, when people critique uh, a poem, they're critiquing a poem, they're not critiquing you.